hello everyone and welcome to this new video today i'm going to show you how to make a really fun game the game is like not any kind of video game so this is a different tutorial uh, we're gonna create this dodging game you just saw me play it is really cool and you're gonna learn a lot about scratch even if you don't know much about programming or don't even know anything about programming at all so just go to the scratch website and create a new project we can name it dodge something like that all right so here we already have this cat sprite and we want to create our own sprite so you can create whatever you want i'm gonna create my own sprite all right so this is our player sprite if you want to create exactly like me uh, make sure that this ball is 40 by 40 pixels and now let's create a simple background what uh, Okay, something like that. We're gonna name it Floor. Okay, it looks really good. We can now go to player here and put one green flag, clicked block. So once we hit the green flag, we are gonna do something. We want to allow our player to move. It can move on its X and Y position. X position is right and left and Y position is up and down. So first we're gonna go to the center, X zero, Y zero, and we're gonna put forever loop. So while we are playing the game, we can always move. If we press with our mouse, we're gonna follow the mouse. So we're gonna put here change X, and change y now follow what i'm about to do and then i'll explain what i just did what does this do so x position it will change where uh, it will change by position of x position of our mouse minus x position of our player so if my mouse is here and the player is here, we're just gonna go here to the mouse with the player. But if you put something like divide by 35, the player is gonna move a little bit slower. And the same rule works for the Y position. So let's just test this out. As you see, it works. The player just follows our mouse. Okay guys, I think it's time to create the most interesting part. Let's create the lasers and ghosts which you need to dodge. Alright guys, we now have the costumes. You can create something that you want, you don't even need to create a ghost, you can create something else maybe zombies or something and lasers you can decorate them how you want this is how i did it so let's now go to their scripts okay guys let's first go to the laser script uh, the scripts for laser and ghost are really similar but we're gonna start with this one first we're just gonna have some little changes between these two so for this sprite and for the ghost tool we aren't gonna use our main sprite we're gonna use the clone of that sprite we can basically create a lot of clones so not only one laser is going to come we can have multiple lasers at the same time the same works for the ghost so we're gonna hide this main sprite when we hit the green flag so we cannot see it and we're gonna have some clones which are going to be shown. So we're gonna wait something between. Point four. 
and 0.7 maybe seconds. And that's the same as you put there 0 0.4 and 0 0.7. You can do that if you want. And then we are going to create the clump. But with the clone is going to be shown unlike the normal sprite. So let's test this out to see are the clones coming often. Oh yeah, they're both uh, all at the same position. So their Y position up and down is going to be random while X position is going to be all the way to the left side of the screen so we can barely see them. So I'll put X something like minus 600 and y is going to be pick random again I'm going to put negative 65 to 165 like that so that's from somewhere about here all the way to somewhere about here okay let's test this and you can see them but we don't want uh, it to be like that. We want maybe something like negative 500. Let's try that. No. Okay, they're good now. Uh, we're just gonna bring them a little bit more to the left. Let's try this. Oh, this is to the right, I'm sorry. Uh, minus 550. I think that's really fine. And now, we're gonna wait something like 0.5 seconds so player can see the lasers he has some time to see them and then they're gonna glide to the other side of the screen luckily we have this glide block and we're just gonna put 0.4 here we want it to be really quick maybe even, even 0.3 and the x position is this time going to be 550 so that's the same thing but on the right side of the screen and the y position we're just gonna put y position here so the previous y position the current y position before we started do doing uh, doing this so it's going to be what it picks here if it picks uh, 73 it's going to glide to the x position 550 and y position 73 before we test this out i just want to hide this uh, ghost sprite for now so we can see better when we run the project now let's make this bigger okay the lasers are coming they're just not disappearing i forgot to put a delete this clone block here so it will no longer exist and uh, you must do this because the scratch has limit of 300 clones existing at the same time so if there are more than 300 no more clones can come until some of them are deleted okay as you see it is really good and now let's do something similar with the ghosts so let's go to the ghost sprite where i'm just gonna bring these two scripts like that and another one Okay, we now have these two scripts, we're just gonna change them a little bit. So we're gonna spawn ghosts a little bit more rare. I'm gonna put it like that. And now the ghosts will spawn from the right side of the screen. And now ghosts aren't that long just uh, like lasers, they're just a bit smaller, so we, c we don't need them to go to... 550 we need them only to 240 that's when their center is at the edge but for the laser we didn't need center at the edge we needed 
the edge of the sprite at the edge of the map so we needed to go further and we're not gonna wait anything here we're just going to glide for five seconds here we put negative 240 and y position is going to stay the same okay let's run this now the ghosts are coming really good we can dodge them and we can dodge the lasers but we now want to add uh, that we lose when we touch the lasers or the ghosts so we're gonna put another when the green flag clicked here at the player sprite and we're gonna wait until and put an ore block here we're gonna wait until touching laser or either touching the ghost so that also includes their clones and because the sprite is hidden so it only includes their clone here and then we're gonna stop all that will just stop the project let's test this out Here we have the ghost coming and when we touch the ghosts we lose and when we touch the lasers we lose too. Okay, really good. So the only other thing we need to add is the score which will change. So and we can add some music to our game, why not? So let's do that. Alright, for counting our score, we're gonna use variables. Uh, if you watched some of my videos before, you know what variables are, but if you didn't and uh, you don't know what variables in Scratch are, you're gonna understand it now, they're really useful. So we're gonna go to the variables. The Scratch has already built in this my variable, you can just delete it and create a new one you're gonna name it score just leave it for all sprites and click ok here we're gonna show it and you can double click on it so we see it just like this we only see the number and we know that is some kind of score tracker and we're gonna put another when the green flag is clicked block here and we're gonna use a forever loop again that will run until this stops this stops it okay and we're gonna wait 0.1 second so one tenth of a second and change score by one so uh, just so you know that's not going to change uh, the score by 10 every single second because uh, uh, because it's gonna be a little bit slower. I am not sure why, but you'll see what I mean. I think this is like maybe 1.5 seconds. Maybe Scratch needs some more time to run. Oh, I forgot uh, to put set score to zero at the start when we hit a green flag. So every time we lose, the score will next time be reset to zero. So we get 36. Great and it restarts okay everything works fine let's just add some music so we can go here to sounds delete the smell sound and we can go here and find some sounds if you want let's go here to the loops okay no Okay, this one is good. I'll select Dance Energetic. You can select whatever you want. And now, when the green flag is clicked, forever, we are gonna play this sound until done. Just make sure to put play sound until done, not start sound, because that will play a lot of sounds at the same time. We want to start a new sound just when this one is finished 
So let's try this now. And I think it's even more cool with the music. Let's test if everything works fine. It does. Okay, guys, that was all of this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like. And if you want to get information when a new video releases, you can subscribe. Thank you so much for 124 subscribers. When we come to 150 subscribers, videos are going to get really better. I spend a lot of time on this video, so I would appreciate you very much if you liked and subscribed. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.